Well, I picked this horse out from the training facility in Kansas. He kind of caught my eye right from the beginning. And he wasn't a tip horse because he was gray, but I liked him so much I decided to go ahead and buy him uh, and pay the normal adoption fee and not get the extra tip money. Uh, because I thought he had a lot of potential and was definitely worth the investment. And I've been really pleased with him. I've ridden him a couple times. Um, and uh, real sensitive. He's got a good disposition, really willing to go. I think he'll make a, a really good horse, a good lead horse. Gray. This is, this is my horse, Gray. First got this when I first saw this horse. Um, we couldn't saddle him without without hobbling his front feet. And uh, I mean, the first day I had him in in uh, at the San Pedro, he uh, you know, he's touchy about it. But now you can really just throw the saddle on him. He's real feely. Like I'm probably in his mouth too much, and that's just my uh, my inexperience. But he's really, I mean, he's really a good feely horse, and I think he'll make it. Make a really nice horse. Um, I mean, he's a nice horse now, but he's, not, you know, he's got the, the sensitivity in his mouth and his face to make a really nice, to make a really nice horse for somebody, and, and he'll he'll do a good job for us. He doesn't necessarily like really care for your to be messing with his face a lot, so I do it all the time. To get him out of that because he you know, he sort of take his head and throw it away from him. He's still kind of a booger to bridle, but he's he's a good horse. We're calling him. His official name is Coastal Conservation Society, Coastal Conservation Association. We've been calling him like Gill and Speck and Trouty and just trying to find a name that fits him.